Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm working on my napkin journal and I'm using these two uh, beautiful napkins uh, to create my page. This is a journal that I create myself uh, from mixed media paper. Just cut the papers in the size that I want and then uh, use a stapler to bring the pages together into a notebook. I'm going to um, use these two beautiful vintage looking uh, napkins today I'm going to cut out these uh, this flower there are many on this napkin as you see so I can use uh, all of them again and again uh, it's really a very cheap way of having a focal point you need to remove the backings from your napkin to be able to glue them uh, properly and I have this other napkin that goes uh, very nicely in colors with the other napkin. So I'm going to create a composition out of the two of them. This page is going to be really uh, quick and easy, uh, perfect for beginners uh, to uh, learn about composition, how easy it is and also uh, to choose colors uh, without any effort because they are all on your napkins. I always say maybe uh, smaller uh, pages and uh, using ready focal points like napkins or rice papers uh, helps you to you know get into the swing of things maybe gain a little bit confidence like what you create and do it in a shorter time to have the satisfaction it's great also uh, just to have fun and create something in a short time it's amazing I really love it um, we don't want these hard edges here so I'm going to rip it off and I'm using matte medium to glue down my napkins this is a page you can literally create in like 10 minutes uh, as short as that uh, just to have uh, some fun uh, within your day uh, and some art uh, satisfaction of uh, creating something again I don't want these hard edges it will be difficult to blend in so I'm just ripping them off uh, and just uh, gluing everything down on my page after sticking everything down it will be time to um, blend it uh, into my page with my acrylic paints uh, here are some distress paints light greens um, like mint greens uh, antique linen and all those uh, colors I'm going to try uh, to see how it works this is old paper I think but uh, you will see that I am not too happy with uh, how it looks it doesn't uh, blend in nicely because the color uh, of greens are darker so after a while I'm going to uh, give up and uh, take other paints uh, but let's try the rest I'm just not cutting these parts because um, I wanted you to see it doesn't work at the first uh, try sometimes you need to try and see and acrylic paints are very easy to build on top of each other so uh, it can never go wrong you can always paint uh, over and over so this is uh, uh, what I like in the end it's a paper artsy uh, paint that is a darker uh, green like a minty green one uh, and I'm just blending it with my brush and with my hand and as you see it works much much better and then I'm going to use another shade of green too to just uh, give it a little bit uh, different tone uh, and uh, continue blending in. I generally go around the edges of my napkins too, the pages, so that everything looks more cohesive. As you see I decided to mix these two uh, and now it looks even better. And it gives a bit of shading and uh, it doesn't look so boring with one shade of green. It's important to have some variation in your colors so it looks more organic and gives more depth. Um, and it always looks better with a couple of shades rather than a flat color. It's a great way to discover some different uh, colors as well. Mixing a few colors and trying to match your napkins. Uh, before you know it you will know many color combinations and you will start creating your own backgrounds with different colors and um, here is how it looks I really like the background now and who will uh, tell this was a napkin uh, 
Um, I have this music stamp uh, and uh, I will do a bit of uh, background stamping. If you can see there is music notes at the back of the butterflies as a background and I am trying to replicate it for the rest of the page. I have this uh, archival ink but I realize it's too light uh, in color so I'm going to switch to another color as you will see very soon. Here is my other one. It's a darker shade of grey uh, from Memento. This is uh, also permanent ink. So um, as I apply it, it dries and it becomes permanent. Doesn't move again. Since the page is already full uh, I'm not planning to do many other things on it. As I said this will be a very quick and easy page. I have my sentiment on it. It's the little things uh, that make life big um, it's a beautiful sentiment i think and it's so true and uh, final step i'm doing some um, border a very little border with my archi my archival ink in black uh, just around the edges to give a definition uh, and uh, a little bit black splashes that goes with it uh, I really love this page. It was so quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed it too and it uh, inspired you to try your own. If you want to see more uh, napkin videos, I have a full playlist of them that I will link down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.